um, focuses on... The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, NCPC, continues to encourage stakeholders on the soon-to-be-enacted insolvency bill, which had its first reading in the House of Assembly. Insolvency is a financial state where an individual organization is unable to meet its debt obligations, often leading to legal proceedings such as bankruptcy, where the debtor seeks relief from some or all debt obligations. Shama Mathre, Deputy Director at the NCPC, said this legislation complements other NCPC initiatives such as the Collateral Registry and Commercial Court, aimed at creating greater economic relief and fostering economic growth. The public, she noted, can expect an increase in sensitization efforts on the insolvency bill to improve awareness and understanding of its benefits. This reform will have an impact on all users of the banking system, of credit unions, of the financial system. And so we want persons to understand um, what is in this new legislative framework, how it benefits them, how it protects them as consumers, uh, how to take advantage of the economic opportunities presented to them as a result of the coming of this legislation and the establishment of the office of the supervisor or receiver of insolvency. And so in the coming weeks, you will hear some public service announcements, a few advertisements on it, but um, putting out the information in layman's terms so that the general populace, um, everybody can understand what this very technical um, piece of legislation is about. The legal fraternity has been a key stakeholder in the formation of this legislation. On May 16, 2024, over 30 legal practitioners from St. Lucia participated in a virtual stakeholder engagement led by Bota McNamara, the legal consultant for the insolvency legislation. Among the various topics he elaborated on was the distinction between insolvency and bankruptcy. The term insolvency is sort of a very high, high arcing um, sort of umbrella for all things to do with debt recovery, for want of a better phrase. So receiverships would fall under insolvencies, as would restructurings, and as would the bankruptcy. The reality is there is a concept known as bankruptcy. It does exist, and it is sort of the very full stop when it comes to um, dealing with debt. McNamara noted that a key feature of the legislation, known as a proposal, offers immense benefits and protection to both debtors and creditors in restructuring debt obligations. That is to say, rather than them constantly throwing money after bad debt, the debts are restructured in a manner that allows those old debts to be um, paid off and resigned um, and allows the individual or company to now work more aggressively towards their future. The insolvency bill is available for public comment on the Government of St. Lucia portal and the St. Lucia NCPC.org website. Through its sensitization campaign, the NCPC encourages all stakeholders to familiarize themselves with the provisions of the legislation and provide feedback to the NCPC for possible amendments before the second reading of the bill. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.